What's up YouTube Kalidus here? This is not gonna be a car video and I'm in my uh, kind of studio slash room. Uh, I know I've had a, a bunch of videos on the like music guitar videos and the, all the YouTube stuff. And I haven't posted much because I haven't been playing a lot but anyway it's my I only have my bed in here and the rest of the stuff is just my guitar bullshit and music and amps and computer and all this stuff. Anyway, I just got this new guitar. Let me see if we can see it. Uh, uh, let's let's see, let's see. It's another V LTD, another V shape. Anyway, this is my setup. I'll show you most. Well, not not all of it, but it's a. It's not. It takes a while. So anyway, starting off with the pick. I use a Jazz three pick. I've used this for I don't know five six seven years or something oh it's super tiny uh doesn't flex much and it's sharp jazz through pick don't uh check them out if you haven't good for shredding good for metal stuff like that anyway uh let's go with the amp now that's a line six you know half stack so a four by twelve cabinet uh would i recommend it yeah for the price it's uh i don't know 600 700 i don't remember i've had it for a couple years i've been playing for like nine but i've had it for like five or six years anyway that's the app i don't use the presets in it like oh, as you can see there's no cable going through it but i can still play with it that's because i don't use the presets on the app i don't like the tone of it yeah it's a uh, it's dynamic it has a lot of look at my fat ass don't judge my fat ass you know forget about that and with that's a, I don't like the presets on that thing, so I just you go with my Digitech pedal. This thing's like 300 to 50, something like that. Digitech pedal, that's that goes to the bypass on the back for the headphones. So all the tone comes on the pedal, and just the, this this is like a stereo type of thing. Anyway, that's a that thing took forever to set up because I have a bunch of different tones that I made myself presets. It sounds sounds amazing, I guess for the price, you know, for the whole setup. Cause the guitars are not that expensive. This red one I'm playing, the Jackson R32, with the floor rose. This was about three hundred dollars. This one I just got is five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, something like that. Anyway, yeah. So that's the app. I don't use the presets on it. Like I said, I just go bypass and get my tone out of that. It has better tone. Much better tone than just going through the amp. It sounds real nasty on the amp. I got the cheese going on the side. Uh, anyway, this is the, the guitar I'm saying. This I've had this for like six years. I really like the V shape, type V shape and Kelly, the odd shapes or the that the one that Dime uses, the X shape. I don't know what the fuck that's called. Anyway, so I don't like the regular ones. They just sit like that and it's uncomfortable. They just don't look badass. This thing just look looks badass. That's what it comes down comes down to. And they got the floor rolls. Nothing fancy, like I said. It's a three hundred dollar guitar, not a ninety nine dollar Fender, but it's it's a little bit better, you know. Mid mid uh, range five hundred dollar type of guitar. Now I'm not to the point to get a like three thousand thousand dollar guitar. Cause I'm not that I'm not that good, you know. I'm all right, but I'm not there yet. So I'll get that when it gets signed for me to do some real shit. Anyway, like I said, uh, twenty four frets. Uh, shark fin shape and got the floor rose by Jackson so it's not a super fancy but it same same damn thing the only bad thing is that the whammy comes off if you play too much anyway, whatever no big deal I don't use the whammy much anyway but it, it's there uh, six string is the headstock the has the bolts on the back so it's not you know not super fancy and no cutout so it is kind of not tough but it, you got it it takes work to play these higher strings. Um, that's one thing. I'll show you the new guitar in a, in a second, but uh, like I said, uh, string string wise, uh, first start with the springs. There's three springs on the back of this guitar, and the other one, they're supposed to be, but I put a fourth one in and an extra one so it has more tension, it holds the tune better. And it just for to put bigger gauge strings. Let's say. For E standard, whatever you use, so like 10 to 46, I think the gauge. Uh, I don't know what that one strong the strings on that one are. I'm trying this out a bit. I don't know what the strings on that one are, but I just got it. I haven't set it up yet. Anyway, I use 
let's say people like James Hetfield from Metallica, the the rhythm guitar, I think he uses 10 to 46 gauge, you know, for the rhythm stuff. But if you play lead more like Kirk, you would use a 9 to 42 or 9 to 46, whatever, because then it's easier to... do crazy bends like that. Uh, but I don't, I don't like that. Uh, well, I use... Uh, Let's go with that. I use a skinny top, heavy bottom, cold boots. I'll, I'll show you a set, but it's over there and I'm too lazy to get up. Anyway, I use the cold boots. It's called skinny top, heavy bottom. We got the 10 on the bottom, so it'll be like regular gauge. And I'm, I'm E standard tuning. That's what I play, you know. I don't fuck around with other tunings because like Pantera didn't. They play pretty much E standard, kind of. So E standard, they sound heavy as fuck, so I don't care about They're going drop A bullshit whatever i wanted to get a seven string for my next guitar with the fixed bridge so i could change the tuning and play seven string uh, and record seven string stuff not play because i don't fucking i don't play that much seven string stuff unless it's like nevermore or bands like that but i found this this fucking thing and i'm like shit it's badass 500 bucks i'll take it home you know you gotta take a chance whatever uh, so i use 10 to 52 gauge that's like what dave mustaine uses it's a little bit rougher on the uh, lead side so it does hurt your fingers more than the nines uh, when you bend them but not as bad as like if you were playing 11s that's fucking crazy 11s on uh, standard tuning but uh, so it's skinny top hip bottom 10 to 52 so the top top ones are a little bit heavier than that one i'll show you when the sound difference and when we get there let me change the thing Oh, so it's what Dave Mustaine uses for E standard. You can tune this one to like D or C, and it still doesn't sound like twangy. I don't like the twangy sound on the and the yeah. I don't like I like it like tight. I'll show you like um. I'm gonna play the maybe the same riff on the different guitar so you can tell. But I'll change the strings on that one in a bit. I just haven't messed with it. So I just play like an E. Go just a metal tone. Do master puppets. See, it's real tight. I like the bottom end, and the, that's why I have the heavier strings. And I don't think I play real. Uh, aggressive, but I mean, I still like the the meat in it, you know. And with that, this guitar, you know, like I said, four springs on the back, 10 to 52 gauge, skinny top, heavy bottom. That's it. Let me change you though. And you got see if you're if you're not an alcoholic musician, then you probably ain't writing good music anyway. So that's just how it goes, man. Either you do. You do the boost or you do heroin or something. But I'm not ready to do the heroin. You know, I can't knock on wood, you can say. Jump to conclusion, but I'm not I'm not gonna command yet, so anyway, this is the new guitar. This one I guess you only has one knob for the volume, not no no tone knob. That one has the tone knob, but I don't see I don't fuck with like cream or blue so soft shit. I don't need the different tone for smoother shit. I just play metal. And it's it's in tune. I just it just sounds twangy because the springs the strings are so thin and this only has three springs on the back, which I'll get taken care of in a bit. I'll play the same thing. You can tell there are a little, little bit lighter strings and a little bit looser. I guess I haven't played with this thing in a. In a
I don't know why that's a new guitar. See, neck through kind of. And what I like, it has uh, this thing. This is what I like about it. See, it has a, like, like a little cutout on the side. And it fits on your leg. And I like to play standing too. I don't just sit there, play in the corner of my bed all nerdy and shit. I like to fucking rock out and shit like that. And it has the cutout for the... See, you can reach this fret a lot better than the Jackson. It's still the same style body shape. It's just a head stuck a little bit different. Uh, it still has the floating bridge of the LTD by Floyd Rose, so still not the fanciest, but it's a little bit better, and it does the same fucking thing. Still a pain in the ass to tune it, and that's it. I think you know, same same thing, same type of setup, dual pickups, coil over, the coil what the coil overs, like humbuckers. That's what it is. I'm thinking about car stuff. but you know you get the kind of slap back that's what I don't like maybe just play real loud maybe it's just me but anyway that's the new guitar back to set up nobody cares but just in case anyone was wondering what I play with my room is a mess so but if you're gonna say something don't say it. just shut the fuck up but anyway this thing, I'm less than one fourth of the volume, like right there, and it's still super loud. So I don't really get to experience the whole tone, and if I fucking turn it on, do like halfway. It's still loud. And that's it, folks. If you, if you want to know more about my setup, my presets, of the how to tune this thing, how to set it up, the intonation, tuning, all that crap. Let me know what you think. Again, badass guitar. I love the shape of it. I even got a cool skull metal trap for it. Uh, I haven't played with the floor rolls. That's what I just realized. This on that. that one song sounds one thing I do like about this one that the Jackson doesn't have as like a little angled edge over here so it's easier to put your arm over it you don't have to go all around you can just rest it right there oh let me show you that riff on the other one easy it has a different sh uh, shape of fin too. It's not like a play shark fin. It has a, a longer bottom fin. It's a long ass video. But anyway, if you fuck with it, you fuck with it. You know? Let me show you the same riff on this one. See, it's more, it's tighter. And it's just, you know, it's just the strings and stuff like that. And the playing, of course. But anyway, that's it for today. I work out, get this bitch tits out. Thanks for watching. If you did, stick around. Let me know what you think. I'll be
be putting up more car videos. Maybe. You just gotta give me ideas. I don't know. I got, got work. I got shit to do. But I'm gonna peace. Bye.